I was gonna be like, what do you wear when you go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bit, getting a bit saucy there. Kids, like, they don't look at me and be like, oh yeah, that's Princess Jasmine. And sometimes when a parent is like, oh, that's, and they're like, no, it's not. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Let me just go and cry in a corner. Don't even get to go to Disneyland for free. When someone prefers to send voice notes instead of texts, is that normal or a red flag? I mean, that for me and my friends, especially me and my best friend, Fair, you know, girl, we be having five, she's a five minute voice note vibes. And I'm here for it because sometimes I can't get my feelings and my emotions out just via an essay. You could misconstrue what I'm going for, you could misinterpret it, but if it's coming from the horse's mouth, you get the whole vibe. So that's a green flag for me. You need to be able to emote. Yes. I totally get it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I think uh, as long as it's not about, about like five minutes is too long. In my opinion. I agree. Fair. Yeah. We need to yeah. just shorten <laughs> a bit, but like, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. When someone has never watched the first Smile film before, is that normal or red flag? Well, I don't want to judge anyone for what they watch. I would say, um, no, I would say green flag because I love when someone hasn't discovered something. So for example, I'm like a bit of a newbie, even with the whole, like even with horror movies, I've like, there's so much yet more for me to watch and I'm like discovering and um, what I, I actually find it quite exciting when you're like, you haven't seen this movie? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Or like, uh, you should go watch it and um, experience it. Me and my friends, for example, I get excited when they haven't seen a movie that I love because I want to go, I want to watch it with them yeah. so I can like get their reaction. So no, there's no judgment here. Like, yeah, if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. Listen, there's so many movies I haven't seen. Like, <laughs> this follows on nicely. When someone hasn't seen the live action Aladdin. Yeah, no, that's a red flag. Yeah. <laughs> that's a red flag still. I mean, more so the animated, cause like, let's be honest, that's the OG. You can't like it, do you know what I mean? But like our movie bangs, so. It does. All ages, go what it's a survive, it's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Yeah, one of the best live, uh, live action adaptations, in my opinion. It's oh, amazing. mate, thank you. It's really sweet of you. Uh, how much has your like, life changed since that? In not loads. <laughs> really? No, not really. I mean, uh, nah. Wow. I just get really, I guess the difference being I have some really sweet people, you, usually like young brown girlies, and that's just like, you know, that come up to me, and that's the nicest thing. Um, that's kind of like the best part of, um, or kids, like meeting kids and then being excited. That's kind of the nicest thing about being in a movie like that. But no, other than that, um, not really. I don't even get to go to Disneyland for free. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. We need to make that happen. You should at least be going to Disneyland for free. I agree. Yeah. If I nothing, agree, right? Other than this That's interview. all like, yeah. like, come on. But I also <laughs> don't look like, I don't walk around looking like print. Like I look, also kids, like, they don't look at me and be like, oh yeah, that's Princess Jasmine. And sometimes when a parent is like, oh, that's, and they're like, no, it's not. <laughs> and I'm like, mm-hmm. Let me just go and cry in a corner, yeah, yeah. When an adult still calls their parents mommy and daddy, is that normal or a red flag? I ain't judging someone for what they're like, call their parents. It's not my vibe, but listen, if it's your vibe, cool. It's not my vibe. Yeah. But I also feel like there's a British thing there's like, oh, I don't, I think that's like a posh British thing. Yeah, which I've noticed from like the crown. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh, like mainly. the posh people call their mum and dad, <laughs> mummy and daddy till they're like 50, uh, <laughs> which is really interesting. And I don't think I knew that until I was like older. Mm. Then I was like, oh, look, the British, I think it's like a posh thing. And yeah. that's a vibe. Listen, yeah, if you want to do that, you call whatever. If you love your parents, that's all that matters. And if they love you, you know? That's great. I mean, I love my parents to bits, but I would never call them mummy and daddy. Like, yeah, it's, it's too much. It's not for me. Yeah. It's not, it's not, as I say, it's not my vibe, it's your <laughs> vibe, you go for it. When someone smiles at you on public transport. Okay, that's, I smile at people. <laughs> <laughs> like, mainly just like women, but like, I love a good girly, like, smile. Yeah, I do smile at people on public transport. Maybe I'm a bit weird like that. It's not that smile, is it? It's not the smile. No, girl, okay. absolutely not. Could you imagine? If someone was smiling like that, oh, I'm moving carriages, <laughs> moving carriages, moving countries. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think it's nice. If it's a nice, you know, smile, I, li I like a smile to a stranger, you know, or especially like someone who's older, like the elder, like the elderly. I don't know, I, I always love talking to the elderly. So. I also, it's, it's such a vibe, they just are the coolest, man. Yeah. 
so like have so many interesting stories and just like they're just cool people. So they've just lived a lot of life, survived. Yeah. You get amazing stories. They're all so lovely. And if, even if you offer to like, do you want to sit down here? They start talking to you. It's Absolutely. So nice. And you know what? I'd say who any young person, if you're on public, like sometimes you never know and you never know what someone's going through. And it might be like the only time they get to chat and, you know, they don't, maybe they don't talk to people a lot in their day to day. So maybe you're like the, you know, an important conversation for them to have. It's always good to listen. There's always something to learn. Exactly. Remain curious. <laughs> yeah. I also am just that annoying person that likes to talk to strangers, I'm not gonna lie. When someone isn't on social media, is that normal or a red flag? No, that's absolutely fine. Okay. In fact, well done you. <laughs> like, you're ahead of the curve. Like, I don't know of anyone who is not on social media who is sad about it. <laughs> who, whose life is worse, worse off. I do get that. Mm -hmm. However, quite useful to have the occasional stalk, just to make sure the person you're talking to is real. I guess, I mean, if you're talking about dating, maybe, I guess that's an, maybe, I don't know, because I'm not, I'm not in that game yeah. anymore. But like, um, yeah, I don't know. I still think it's cool. Okay. I think it's a vibe. And finally, when someone wears socks in bed, is that normal or a red flag? Oh, again, I don't want to judge, man. You can like, judge, it's fine. Yo, whatever you feel comfortable with, bro, because sleep is important. So <laughs> if you can only sleep with your socks on, put your socks on. Not for me, but absolutely do it. Like, I don't know. Why do I care if you wear your socks? I don't care. You live your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> sorry, I know I'm like, but like, Sleep is just so important. So whatever Agreed. you need to do to sleep, because some people really struggle to sleep. Yeah. So I feel like, are you a socks on person? No. No. No, no, I'm not. No. no. I get, I would get hot, I think, and exactly. bothered, like hot and bothered if I did that. Yeah. Um, what's, I was gonna be like, what do you wear when you go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> no, getting a bit, getting a bit saucy there. Uh, just boxes and a t-shirt usually. Yeah, that's, that's, that's cute. Yeah. That's a vibe. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I love that this is, I feel like you've been addressing them all towards me. So thank you so much. <laughs> because, because really, you just wanted to know if you were okay. You were just insecure about all the things that you do. So you're like, is this a red flag? <laughs> yeah, it's a green flag. Great. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank you for assessing Everyone can life. do them, you know? You are amazing in this movie, I have to tell you. Oh my uh, gosh. You deserve every award going. Oh. You're honestly one of my favorite performances of year. You're amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, 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 he was smiling at me. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On it's gone viral.